Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another original art show and tell kind of video. I haven't done one of these in a while, but over the last couple months, I've accumulated some new original art that I'd like to show to you. Um, I guess I'll start first with, this is all by the way, very superhero related. Um, so it should be interesting. It's a little bit of a theme I got going on now, but um, yeah, some of these are just um, for fun, and all of them are for sale, essentially. Uh, like all of these, this is done on 11 by 17 Bristol board uh, paper, and all this is inked traditionally with various pens and brushes. I've shared plenty of times uh, on these videos before what I use, but uh, pens like this, mechanical pens, brush pens like this one, that's the Pentel uh, brush pen that I really like. Uh, my calligraphy pens that I get from Blick, I really like these. Um, those are fun, they have like a really thick side and a really thin side. I used this one, I picked this one up recently at the art store. I usually like um, swear off microns, but I thought this was pretty cool for a micron. It's got more of like a marker kind of feel to it. Uh, I've been kind of liking the lines that I'm getting out of it. And then also, um, let me try to grab it here, my Series 7 Winsor Newton brush. That's what this particular one was inked with, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So anyway, this is a Bughead superhero, super teen, but um, yeah, Archie Comics, long time ago, uh, created a superhero version of their core four characters. And um, so I thought I would just focus on the fan favorites, which is Bughead. With this one, I was really inspired to do a very like brushy, inky, kind of uh, very traditional comic book style approach. And um, I had a lot of fun with this sky. Also with these white dots for stars, I have a paint marker that is in a different language, but I ordered it online. I'll try to link it down below if I can remember, but. Uh, it's been kind of fun to use just for little effects like this. Um, it's kind of cool. I like I like the effect. I'm happy with the way this one came out. This was on 11 by 17, which is like a traditional comic book style. Um, then let's see something more recently that I just finished the other day. Actually, it was the Superman. I'm still working on my Superman. I think I might have mentioned in a previous video that I'm working on my Batman. <laughs> trying to figure out like the right version of Batman that's right for me. Uh, I'm doing a similar thing with Superman, trying to figure out how I draw Superman that uh, a version that I'm happy with. And this one I was sort of inspired by the Alex Toth Superman. Alex Toth being one of my favorite uh, comic book artists, cartoonists of all time. And so uh, if you look up his version of Superman, he's a very like classically built kind of like 1950s retro looking dude um not like super chiseled the way we might see superman today um a little bit more lanky i kind of see superman as being like this very very larger than life character with maybe a slightly smaller head <laughs> that's like a little bit um disproportionate to the rest of his body so I'm trying to work on that version in this one but I also really had fun playing with the composition and the lighting on this one. Um, and this was used, again, with all the same tools. This is like 8 by 10 I think. Uh, another different version of Super Superman. This almost looks a little like a young version, maybe like a Superboy. But it is Superman, but it's a much more youthful version than over here. This is more like older, classic. This is maybe like a little bit more youthful. But again, playing with... Uh, a sort of backlighting effect, which was really fun. Um, and then we'll go back to the Archie characters. <laughs> this is uh, technically superhero, but a little bit more uh, humorous and funny. Of course, this is the Batman 66 version with Burt Ward and Adam West and uh, Bughead. Betty as Batgirl and Jughead in the back just sort of sporting a Batman t-shirt. I had a lot of fun with this. I don't always do like humorous uh, style stuff, um, but with Bughead, I feel like I could I could be playful and kind of experiment a little bit. But I wanted to figure out a way where I could get Batman 
in there a little bit. So I have some more ideas about incorporating Batman with uh, Bughead and other Archie characters. So hopefully I could uh, play with that a little bit more. Here's a Black Canary. I, I um, oftentimes get requests to draw Black Canary. And anytime I'll put out a poll on Instagram asking you know my followers, like, what character should I draw? Uh, Black Canary tends to come up often. And I'm cool with that. Again, talking about Alex Toth. Alex Toth probably drew the best version of Black Canary. If you could Google some of that, uh, I think he captured the essence and the style of the character in a really uh, cool way. It's very like 1960s, uh, like a lot of his stuff, but um, really awesome stuff. So I was sort of inspired by that version, but trying to make it my own as well. And as you can see, I used the same sky effect that I did for this uh, bug head image. So uh, lately I'm a fan of this uh, sky and stars technique. A um, couple of other little like, these are little tiny index card drawings. I've made, I think a couple videos at this point showing my index card drawing series. Uh, these are a lot of fun because it's just fun to draw on the back of index cards. I don't know, <laughs> there's a lot less pressure. Uh, they don't have to be as uh, fancy or, or whatnot. And um, I put these up online for sale and people uh, tend to scoop them up because I think they're just fun and whatever. Um, here's a Batman and a Catwoman also done on index card. And for these, I'll use different markers. I'll also use uh, brush and pen, but I feel more inclined to keep them very um, just kind of loose and fun and experimental. Uh, you can see heroes using some of that white pen as well for some highlights. But I think of these more as almost like con sketches or um, something a little bit more casual. I have a lot of fun with them and I really like this small size. Generally, I'm a little bit um, hesitant to draw that small, but I've been challenging myself with that and kind of happy with some of the results. So uh, yeah, that's my current lot of original art. A um, couple more things in the works at the moment. So. Uh, perhaps sometime soon I could show you the next batch of originals, but um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, these should, by the time I post this video, um, should all be for sale on my eBay page. So I'll try to remember to link that in the description as well. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.